Hello guys, welcome back to another episode with me, the Eastbourne Fisherman. Today I've come down to a local Eastbourne beach with my pal Cliff. I haven't seen him for a while, so it's nice to get out and have a fish with him. Uh, and we're, we've heard that there's been a couple of rays caught, to be fair. Uh, so we're going to be going for a ray. Um, and also I need a dab as well for my monthly species hunt for my Facebook group, UK and Ireland Sea Anglers. If you haven't checked it out yet, head over to Facebook and check it out. We're doing a year-long species hunt. Um, this month it is for dabs, there's prizes and all sorts of things and end of year prizes for kids as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, head over to the Facebook group and check it out. So then, um, I'm down at the local Eastbourne Beach, I've literally just got both my rods set up, just about to cast out, I'm going to show you what rigs I'm using and what bait I've got, and uh, let's crack on with the evening. Well guys, the baits we've got tonight, we've got some sticky, really sticky dark black lug, we've got two wraps of that for the dabs. Uh, I've got some really, really bad pungent mackerel heads there, we'll have a play of them later. Uh, some squid from Ammo and then we've got a couple of mackerel as well. First rig we've got then, we've got a free hook Portsmouth Fluke rig. So the first hook there is on lug, the second hook there is put down on lug, and then we've got the loop there on lug as well. Red grip lead snapbacks, and on the second rig, we've just got a whole squid there, just messing around for the rays. To be honest with you, I should have had some blue for the rays, but uh, I haven't been able to get hold of any. So uh, yeah, there's the, uh, the bait, Trident hangover rig. Water clarity doesn't look too bad actually. Pretty, pretty clearish at the minute. It's not really dirty. But you can see, you can see through it. So but it's clear on the inside, but it might be a bit dirtier out there. So uh, let's cast the rigs out and we'll see, see how we get on. All right, guys. So both rods are cast out. Let's see what happens tonight. Rods both out, sitting nicely in the tide. Only now is a couple of fish. Fishing the tide down tonight. So it's literally just at the top of the tide now. Just having our first knock on the left hand rod there, which is the squid, the whole squid. Uh, the one on the right there is then the free hook loop rig. Just put him really close. So a couple of knocks on the left hand rod then to get us started off, first cast. It's always good to have a couple of knocks to start you off. Will they be the winter mackerel? We'll have to wait and see. Rods and reels we're using tonight, we've got an Akios early par 10 on this side, um, an SX8 on that side, air power. I'm actually loving this rod at the moment, it's absolutely fantastic, fantastic rod, air power from Akios. And then on this side we've got a really old school Conaflex, Conaflex Integra this one is. I'm uh, using the Coniflex at the moment um, just to gauge bite detection, see whether or not I want to get it rebuilt. But it is a quite a nice rod, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get it rebuilt and uh, give it another life, really. Just trying to get the bite indication on this uh, Coniflex rod. Actually, pretty, pretty good. We just had a little bite on the uh, on the right hand rod, which is the Coniflex. Oh, and the left's going as well now. So uh, left's definitely going. Nice to see some bites early on in the night, but uh, I think it might be from the usual suspects. What do you think, Cliff? Yeah, well, <laughs> right, I guess we better. Oh, there you go. Little nibbles on the right side. A lovely little bite on that uh, right hand rod. There we go. Look, lovely little bite detection on that. But we might have to get that one uh, rebuilt and sorted out. Needs a new spigot, that one. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice little rattle and bites. Right, uh, let's read them in and we'll have a look see what we've got. Right, boys and girls, our first rod has uh, graced us. The fishing gods have been lovely kind to us tonight. They've graced us straight away with two pin whiting, absolutely tiny. Well, that's on the lug worm. So we're going to get them unhooked, we'll get them back in. Um, if I was, uh, well, I mean, you potentially could live bait these, but I want to fish fish tonight. We've got loads of bait to get rid of. 
those are stinky old bait. So yeah, two white in, two small pin white in. Let's get them back in. Right guys, I just reeled in my um, pre-hook Portsmouth loop rig, or whatever you want to call it, again. And I'll be raced by another white in. And this time we've got a Rocklin. Now, I actually really like Rocklin. I think they're pretty cool little creatures, to be fair. Pretty cool. We get some close up shots of them, and I'll show you in a little bit more detail. I think it's my first one of this year actually, so yeah, absolutely awesome. Little Rocklin, cannot complain, cannot complain. Yeah, pretty strange little things. Strange little things, little Rocklins. The little sea slug. Let's get him back in. Right, guys, we're back into the game, a hat trick of winter whiting. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be a busy night if this is happening like this already. But yeah, there we are. Three whiting, and one rig, three hooks, all baited with a lugworm. We're into the fish. Right, guys, so uh, we're having whiting and rockling at the moment. Uh, the whiting are pretty prolific at the moment. I think it's the same everywhere on the south coast. Uh, we're just coming out of the winter and they are definitely around <laughs> everywhere you go at the moment uh, unless you go right further uh, south towards uh, you know, West Sussex Cornwall way um, all the way from Eastbourne all the way through to Dungeness there's quite a lot of whiting about but you know you've got to try and fish for them and try and get the other fish so that's what we're doing Right guys so there's another trio of white in there uh, to add to the collection that we've uh, received for the last couple of sessions to be fair um, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to put both both rods. So what I'm going to do now is going to put both rods um, on just big, big baits um, and see if we can try and pull in something a bit decent. I'll let you know how we get on, and hopefully we'll be able to get through the white and try and get another species tonight. But yeah, fish is a fish. All right, guys. So the onslaught continues. The winter onslaught of white. Look at the size difference in comparison to what. Off the hook, so yeah, we got anything from a tiny pin whiting, really small, so not too bad size whiting to be fair. And there's an egg case there as well. That's what I think that's an egg case of a dogfish. I think it might be a dogfish egg case, but yeah, uh, slightly larger whiting, pin whiting. Um, we're, we're trying to fish for it. Um, I've, had, I've had tons and tons of whiting tonight, absolutely tons. It's a, it's a white and bonanza out there, absolutely crazy. But yeah, we're trying to get some uh, fish other than whiting. But apart from the one rocklin, uh, it's just been a whiting epidemic. Absolutely mental. Right, guys, so we managed to punch through the onslaught of <laughs> whiting everywhere. We've got yet another whiting. We've actually managed to bag our second rocklin of the evening, which is there. And boy, am I happy to see this little rocklin. <laughs> I know it's only a rocklin, but you know, it's a different species. And it's much, much better, better catch than a whiting. But yeah, absolutely awesome. Like I said, you know, weird little, weird little fish. Really weird. Like I say, really, really slimy. Um, like a little, like a little slug, if you would say. Really small eyes, and then the whiskers at the front. Two small fins, and the tail there. Right. So when you, when you think it's all going to be over, and you. Trying to get through those pesky whiting. Lo and behold, you reel into two more whiting and a dogfish. <laughs> Absolute dogfish. So we've had whiting, tons of whiting, two rockling and a doggy tonight. All in about three hours, I think it is. So yeah, crazy. Right, guys, so the mackerel and the pulley. Oh, sorry, the mackerel on the hangover rig strikes again. We've ended up with another, another dogfish. This one is much smaller than the last one, but still, another fish in the bag. Awesome. Something about those eyes as a dogfish. It's absolutely awesome. I do like a dogfish. We're gonna cut a couple of nice bites on the uh, on the Coniflex rod there. Let's see if we can get it on the camera. Go 
got a nice lunging bites on there. Oh look, that big one's going now as well. It's the last cast then. Or well, the last two casts are out. Nice rattling and action on both rods. Wow, look at that, that's a nice bite. Well, I better put this camera down and reel them in and have a look, see what we've got. Alright, let's read them in and have a look. Right, guys, so that brings us to the end of the session. It has been a whiting onslaught. Absolute whiting, brutal onslaught from the get go. As soon as the baits hit the water, boom, the whiting are there. But hey, that's winter fishing, you've got to live with it. Um, the best thing you can do is try and fish through it, uh, as you've seen tonight. So, we've uh, bagged a couple of extra species, a couple of uh, rock clean, and a couple of dogfish amidst, amongst the, uh, the hordes of the whiting. Um, Cliff is fishing single hook rigs, he had a ton of whiting as well. So, you know, all in all, <laughs> it's been an alright session to be fair, it's been good fun and nice to see me old mate Cliff. So, thanks very much for watching, guys, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.